Welcome to the Science Asylum. I am Nick Lucid. If you're a details person, you might have noticed a book missing from my shelf over here. It's this book. I've been reading it to brush up on my quantum physics, you know, for various reasons. So quantum has been in my mind lately, which would drive anyone crazy. Quantum, 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 quantum! What is quantum physics anyway? In a word, crazy. Why? I think it's time for a list. This is the top four craziest things about quantum physics. I should warn you though, these are gonna get so crazy that by the end, you probably won't believe me anymore. Crazy thing number one, electrons can't go wherever they want. They can only go certain places called states or orbitals. Different orbitals have different shapes and sizes. On top of that, you can only put at most two electrons in each state. They don't like threesomes. If an electron jumps from a high to a low state, that energy's gotta go somewhere, so it gets released as a little packet of light called a photon. Since electrons can only be certain places, they can only have certain energies. So the photons are always the same for a certain type of atom. It's kind of like an atomic fingerprint, but we call it an atomic spectrum. For example, this is hydrogen. This is helium. And this is neon. It's how we know what the sun is made of without ever having taken a sample. Speaking of photons, crazy thing number two, particles are waves and waves are particles. We call this wave-particle duality. In the 1660s, Isaac Newton was convinced light was made of little particles. In 1801, Thomas Young showed that light was a wave. Then in 1913, Niels Bohr showed that light had to also be a particle. Wait, wait, it's both? Yep. Or maybe neither. It's weird. So you can think of all beams of light, like lasers or flashlights, as being made of a bunch of little photons. They're the smallest piece of the beam, just like water molecules are for water. Fewer of them means less light, and more of them means more light. If something has a smallest piece, we say that it's quantized. And we call that smallest piece a quantum. And light isn't the only thing that does this. All of them do. Even things like electrons show wave properties sometimes. It's crazy! So wait, what about an electron is waving? The probability of its existence. Crazy thing number three, quantum stuff happens by pure chance. As scientists, we prefer there to be some kind of cause and effect. This happened because this happened. But about a century ago, we had to let that go. It's not really a photon wave or an electron wave. It's a probability wave. Basically, if we say this is an electron's wave, it's more likely to exist here than it is to exist here. But it exists somewhere, right? Uh, um... Crazy thing number four, measurement screws everything up. So you know there's an electron somewhere in here. Then you do an experiment and you're like, there it is. Naturally, you'd like to also say something like, it's on this orbit. So it used to be here and it will eventually be here. But you can't. The more you know about where something is, the less you know about what it's doing. It's called the uncertainty principle. To make matters worse, this isn't even about what we know and what we don't know. Experimental evidence suggests something even weirder. Remember that electron you measured before? It didn't even really have a position before you measured it. You gave it one. The measurement just gave you the illusion that you figured something out. I hate you, Quantum. I hate you. So can you describe quantum physics in 10 words or less? Let us know what you come up with in the comments. You know, if your brain isn't mushed by this point. And until next time, remember, it's okay to be a little crazy. Quantum, quantum, quantum!